Okay, this is the uh, solar dehydrator I built for the El Rincón farm here. And basically just took the design from another website, used some of the materials we had on the farm. So, quick explanation is simply that you want airflow, warm airflow, hot airflow between your food. So, you have to build a box. You have to put your food on some kind of uh, food grade metal or in this case um, some material and let me just keep this open here for a second. So I just built a little notched out something, a little space there so we could keep this open. So basically that's, that's all it is. We have this box and underneath we have a frame that I built and this uh, roofing metal material. And so the warm air will be able to flow through these ridges while the material keeps the heat in and the top obviously tracks the heat. We'll show you the top in a moment. So the heat gets trapped and the food is in between and the heat rises because we have an angle on, on the roof, roofing material there. And that's pretty much it. We have a little bit of this uh, felt in between to seal because this is, this is all scrap wood so uh, probably not the most efficient design. We've seen people use you know, bathroom doors and things. You don't want pure direct sunlight hitting your food. Um, so diffused light would work. A bathroom door could work just fine. So you get enough heat coming in through the top and then trap it with the bottom. And here you can see the side. And so we can just pick up this box and move it. Or another design we've seen is people just put, create smaller boxes to p lay on the inside. So I'm going to close this show you the top and underneath the plastic here is just some black roofing felt to attract more heat. We put this plastic on to protect it from the rain and to also attract more heat. So we've gotten this up to about 120 degrees. Don't need it to go any higher than that and uh, takes a couple days to to dry the food depending on the thickness and uh, what you're drying. So that is pretty much it. That's the whole design here. So it's a nice nice option. Um, allows us to get a lot of food inside and uh, use the sun to dry our food. Take a look at this again. These look really good. Look at that. Wow. Delicious. You can season beforehand, you can season afterwards. I recommend seasoning beforehand. It doesn't look like these are uh, seasoned, but um, I guess they're maybe used for throwing into a soup or something later on. All right, there it is. There's our solar dehydrator design.